All right, when you factor trinomials, they should be in this form, x squared plus bx plus c. There is another form which we're going to go over, and the method really is the same, but this one really just encompasses a very quick shortcut, which requires some memorization. But uh, we'll get rid of that after we do the next type. And the next type, all that's different is that you're going to have an a in front of the x squared. So you'd have a, a, a x squared plus b x plus c. And it, it's really fun. So <clears throat> we're going to have uh, two sets of binomials like this being multiplied after we factor these. Um, yeah. We're going to look at C, factor pairs of C, and we'll have to include the negatives sometimes, all right, so that when we add them together, which is kind of part two here with the sum, when we add them together, we should get the coefficient of X, which is B. Um, and those values we just put in for those numbers there. Finally, if we can't find uh, two numbers that are factors of C, the sum of them, if the sum of those two factors is not B, then, well, it can't be factored. And that's okay. So on this problem, right, we got this B and C value. B is negative 9, and C is negative 36. So we're looking for two factors of C, which is negative 36 in this case, which, when we add them up, they need to be, well, it needs to be negative 9. So we can usually always start with 1 in itself. Um, and since this one's negative, we can change where the negative is on these two, right? If I took negative 1 and multiplied it by 36, I'd have negative 36. But 1 times negative 36 is the same, negative 36. So, uh, well, if I add those two together, right, if I add these two, I'm doing purple. If I add those two, then I get 35 in both cases. That's no good. Oh, this one's negative 35. Uh, because we need a negative 9. So, let's continue with the factors. This one's even, so we know it's divisible by 2. 2 and 18, it looks like. So we'll make the 2 negative and the 18 negative. Look, I know some of you guys don't need all these steps. But, uh... This is kind of how it works. Negative 2 plus 18 is 16. That's not negative 9. 2 plus negative 18 is negative 16. Still no good. So let's look at other factors of 36. Like, uh, well, 3 and 12. So we'll look at both with the 3 negative and the 12 negative. And when we add these together, negative 3 plus 12 is a positive 9. That one's no good. But 3 plus negative 12 is a negative 9. This one checks off. So even though there are more factors of negative 36, we don't need to go any further. We've got this, uh, well, the sum of the two factors is the negative 9. Yeah, notice that the thing, the difference about these as well, these pairs, one's positive and one's negative. So if that was a plus 9, then we'd be looking at these two numbers. Now if we go back to the form, and that's, really all we're going to look at right now. Next example will do a little bit different, right? But we've got x plus and x plus in both of these. And what two numbers did we have? The first one's a 3. And the second number is a negative 12. So we put that negative 12 in there. Uh, really, to fully simplify this, we'd just make that a minus 12 like that. And this would be your answer for the factored expression. So we'll show you guys how to do it with uh, factoring by grouping, which is really kind of what's happening here. This is just a formula or a quick shortcut, but if you can't memorize that, don't worry. If you can, if, if you can at least just do this stuff with the factors, you'll be fine. But then you got to be able to factor by grouping. In fact, let's do it. Uh, Let's FOIL this thing out, right? So we have x times x, which is x squared. x times negative 12, which would be a negative 12x. <coughs> and then 3 times x, which is a positive 3x. Three, 3 times negative 12 is a negative 36. So I got x squared 
And then I've got negative 12 plus 3x, which is negative 9x. And just minus that 36. That's the original expression that we had. So, yeah. So, yeah, it is kind of FOIL in, res in reverse. Uh, you may notice as well that the 12x and the 3x that we had down here also came up in this reverse foilage stuff.